Oh, oh yeah. Oh, can you feel the heat? Hua! Heat, released in 1995 and is directed by Michael Mann, who's also behind such films like Manhunter, The Last of the Mohicans, The Insider, Miami Vice, and Public Enemies. And this film is starring Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, who are two very famous actors but have never acted actually against each other in a film, even though they were in The Godfather Part Two, which many people would hail as one of the greatest movies ever made, and they are two of the greatest performances in that movie that has ever been performed they still never cross paths with each other in that movie so this is the first time that we have al pacino robert de niro facing off with each other sitting down at a coffee table having some coffee talking about how great they are and and yeah Film history, y'all. But it's also starring Tom Seasmore, Diane Venora, Amy Brenneman, Ashley Judd, Michael Eddie Williamson, Wes Studi, Ted Levine, John Voight, and Val Kilmer. And the reason why we're talking about Heat today is because it was a PayPal recommendation and donation from a longtime contributor and supporter of this channel. He strikes again. Dr. Camp, thank you very much for the recommendation. If anyone else out there also wants to be like Dr. Camp and help support me and contribute to this channel, you can select the QR code that is in the bottom left corner corner of your screen right now and send over your donation of five dollars or more with your movie recommendation and if i have access to it i will watch it review it and give you a little shout out just like what i did with dr camp here neil mccauley is a professional thief based out of los angeles california and he's just been informed of another big robbery that he feels the need and the urge and the want to pull off but what he doesn't know is that lapd lieutenant vincent hannah is close nipping at his heels and is trying desperately to put the people away and catch them in the act. Now we have one of the best thieves and one of the best cops going at it face to face, mano a mano in this movie. Who's gonna come out on top? Well, you're just gonna have to watch the thing. Now I remember watching this movie once, and this was in my undergrad years, and I don't know what I was thinking back then or what I was in the mood for, but I remember watching this movie and just being bored to tears and just hating this thing. Not saying like it was like the worst movie ever made, but it just wasn't catching my interest. I wasn't sucked into anything. I was like, all oh, these people are assholes. I'm not connecting to anyone. Fuck this movie. I don't want to watch it at all. So thank God Dr. Camp supported me, made a PayPal donation, and recommended this movie to me. Because on the second viewing, this movie is fucking fantastic. The character work and the backstories and how these legendary actors and Al Pacino and Robert De Niro just latch onto them. And like they're both shitty people, but they both have sides of themselves that make them redeemable. And me, the audience, I'm thinking, oh, God, who do I want to win? This is a cat and mouse game between the two. Sometimes the mouse is hunting the cat and the cat is hunting the mouse, of course. Who's going to win and who do I want to win? I don't know. I'm, I'm going back and forth between it. So again, I have no idea what I was thinking like a decade ago when I watched this movie for the first time. This time around, though, I totally admit that I was wrong in my previous assessment, and this movie's great. Robert De Niro plays this very disciplined thief who always has this phrase where you always need to be able to walk away when you feel the heat coming around the corner. Which is heartbreaking when you see this man start building a relationship with a woman who you can see has emotional attachment to. He's not just looking for a fling, he's actually looking for a companionship, and he wants to travel overseas with her and live over there and retire with her you can tell that that's really what he wants to do but he's also been doing this thievery business for a very long time and you can tell that is his mantra that is his soul that is what he absolutely believes so when he comes face to face with a decision like how strong is your motto or do you run away with this woman and you see that that battle back and forth and the decision that he makes uh, makes him the best character out of this entire film, in my opinion. Many people I have heard say that their favorite character is Val Kilmer in this film, who's a little bit of a simpleton. He's always the lackey. He's the right-hand man of Macaulay. He does jobs for very little money, but because he's best friends with Macaulay, it's like, it's a no-brainer. I'm going to do that. You're my friend. You take care of me. You've been with me almost my entire life. You've looked after me. Absolutely. Whatever you want, I'm there. Plus, it's Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer is just freaking awesome. And then there's Al Pacino, who plays the LAPD officer who's in the middle of his third marriage 
and he's messing that one up too. And like I've seen it parodied a lot where on a TV show or in a cartoon that's parodying cop shows, the cop comes home from a long day of work after seeing dead bodies and people murdered and then the wife comes in saying, hey, I have roast in the oven. We were supposed to have dinner like a normal family and I'm trying to keep this family together but you're not because you're never here. This is the stereotypical cop who they're always parroting because this cop is like, I'm sorry, baby. Sorry, I just picked up a dead body on the highway. Sorry that the chicken is a little burnt. Hooah! Al Pacino's great. He's so much fun when he actually cares. I will say though, with this character getting married for the third time, like, like why? Like maybe getting remarried for a second time just to see, hey, if this time goes better, it couldn't be any worse from the first one. I can see that, but why get married a third time? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out too previous. Why do you think the third time is going to work out? This person also has a kid, too. A teenage daughter who has her own thing. Natalie Portman, a very young Natalie Portman here. She's got her own shit. Why would you attach yourself to a third? I don't know. I don't understand. And I don't think he understands either. Because you can tell that this guy is just married to his work. That's where he gets off. That's where he finds himself happy. Is when he has a worthy opponent that he is chasing down. That he is researching. And that he was following. Following. That you can tell he hasn't had in a while. He hasn't had that person, that white whale that he's always going after to cause him to make him want to go to work, basically. It's just another punk on the street who he's handcuffing and sending off to jail. But then when he realized that he and his team are the ones being watched by the thieves, like he's the one being made, he has a smile on his face. He's happy, like, okay. All right, this guy, he knows what he's doing. I have a challenge with me. hoo -ah! Great performances. And the dinner table scene, it's been referenced so many times by other movie reviewers and film critics about how it's one of the greatest scenes of all time. And it's an excellent scene where these two people who are on polar opposites of a situation where they just have coffee with each other talking about how this is what I do and... If you get in my way, or if I catch you in the act, I'm going to take you down. And the other one acknowledging, hey, you're good at your job. I understand that's what you do. But you also got to understand that I do what I do because I don't know how to do anything else. Just wonderful respect from people who are the greatest in their field. And also respect, really, between these two amazing actors who, again, have never shared the screen before, on screen before, before this movie. And the action set pieces, the robbery, and how, just how wrong it goes. I don't, could it get any worse? I mean, I, I don't think it could have. Could it have gone any more wrong? Maybe, I don't know, but gosh, everything just seemed like it was going wrong all throughout this movie. Heat is a great crime thriller that if you love Law & Order, if you love these crime shows, you love detective stories, I mean, how could you not enjoy this movie? And I'm trying to think back again to my younger self, how did I not enjoy this movie the first time around? I don't know, I just wasn't in the mood, but thank god I watched it again. This movie is great. There's very few things about this film that I don't like. This film is excellent. I'm gonna give Heat four and a half out of five Blu-rays. It's good. It's good. It's good. So guys, if you've seen Heat, what did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across it because of this video, then comment below and let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell. See you all the next time I'm release next movie review. So guys, I will see you next time on the channel, but in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.